I'm pleased to say that the government of Jamaica remains committed to the principle of gender equality. That was the opening line in my message to mark pub the publication of our government's first ever national policy for gender equality five years ago. I remarked then that the policy had been on the agenda for a long time and that I was happy to be able, with the team, to bring it to fruition. Today's activity is evidence that our commitment to gender equality was not empty words. That we have been diligently pursuing our gender equality initiatives, including gender training, gender mainstreaming, monitoring, and evaluation. My government accepts that women and men need to have equal opportunities to work together in partnership to achieve gender equality. As we expressed it in the national policy, gender equality requires equal employment by women and men of the socially valued goods, opportunities, resources, and rewards. When I know what I say when, we achieve gender equality. It will not translate into giants for women alone. I want to assure the men. It will be a big plus for men as well, and for the entire country. I would like to quote from Christine Lagarde, Managing Director of the IMF, as Mr. Watson did. I quote her, she says, we know based on a wealth of research and experience that empowering women can be an economic game changer for any country. For instance, if women were to participate in the labor force to the same extent as men, national income could increase by 5%. Equal pay and better economic opportunities for women boost economic growth, creating a bigger pie for everyone to share, women and men alike. Better opportunities for women also promote diversity and reduce economic inequality around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an economic no-brainer. We will not achieve the prosperity program on which our government has embarked without people development. The participation of all our people, women and men, is key to achieving all our development objectives and this includes our five in four growth target. Therefore, eliminating barriers to equal participation in society for women and men will translate into sustainable human and national development and of course, prosperity.